friends, it's Maureen and Isabella. Woo! Today we will be showing you our preparation for our Harry Potter movie night. So we had dressed appropriately, wearing our Harry Potter shirts. I have my Slytherin sweatpants on. I even have earrings, owl earrings. Harry Potter stuff is expensive. So the first thing we're going to make for you guys is chocolate frogs. And then after that we will start making our pizza for tonight instead of ordering in because we are... I don't know what we are. <laughs> we are spontaneous. We are more sophisticated versions of teenagers. After that, we will be making butterbeer butter beer. to drink with our pizza and our chocolate frogs. So, let's get started. Let's go! Gee, they're still a little wet. We washed them off. <laughs> the ingredients are dark chocolate, And then we have milk chocolate. We have Andy's chocolates, little ones, to make a minty flavor, to add extra flavor. Rice Krispies to add crunchiness to it. And also Heath bars to add crunchiness. The Andy's Heath bars and Rice Krispies are optional. You do not need to add them if you just want solid chocolate. Let's get started. Milk chocolate, you know. Yes. <laughs> So now we have these chocolate frog molds while we're waiting for the water to boil. So we go. are going to put the chocolate in the frogs. I'm going to be taking the Rice Krispies and putting them inside of my chocolate. She's going to be taking the mint and the heat and putting it inside of her chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Oh, we got to open it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is add a little bit of chocolate to the bottom of the and we're gonna add some of the toppings in it. Yes, there we go. Can you go in there. Go. <gasps> <laughs> you see, I'm laughing. I can't do that. I think mine look better than yours. See, look at the difference. <laughs> It's gonna drip out. We have finished our, our chocolate, chocolate frogs. frogs. That is only one of the many trays we have. But this one's the cleanest one, so yeah. we're showing you this the rest one. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Move on to our pizzas. Pizza, Woo! pizza, pizza. yes. Ready. Pizza! I got way too excited for pizza. Okay. Actually, there's no way to get too excited for pizza. Oh my god, this is so sticky. Hold on, hold on. I do this. <laughs> okay, so we need to cut it first. Okay. Where's the scissors? Oh, we use this. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna roll it out and yeah, you can knead it, but because you will need to knead it. <laughs> she makes the worst puns. Like they're worse than my puns, and I make terrible puns. <laughs> I'm the fail. Yes, no, it's actually me. Heat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you're going to roll this out, which we've pretty much finished. Or That's apparently what I've done it so far. Dance, dance. We're falling apart. Do you have to help? Okay, I'll shut up. I gave up on being a professional chef. So for the pans, I put oil on it. I sprayed some oil and put a little bit of flour on it. I'm going to place this on here. <laughs> I'm so much farther. I'm so <laughs> Oh, hello there. Now we are going to be decorating our pizzas and putting on the stuff we want. So we're going to put on sauce. Now we're just going to put our pizza in for however long it takes for them to get golden. Maybe about 20 minutes. So, see ya. Hello. 
back. Back. Okay, so now we're going to make our butter beer. Let's go. Butter beer is mm, yes. Mm. What we have here is some brown sugar, some regular butter that needs to be at room temperature, cinnamon, um, nutmeg, and cloves, and cream soda, and then this thing. Blend butter, sugar, and spices in large bowl. A third cup of brown sugar, so we don't have a third. Um. Is this about halfway? Yeah, that's about halfway. Um, it's in! Oh my god. Dang, that's fast. I don't feel comfortable with that. How are we this? No idea. Okay. So we have to do this.